Hello everyone, welcome po ulit sa ating Math Easy video tutorial. This is now the second part or part 2 ng ating topic on volume of square pyramid. In this lesson, we are going to practice solving problems involving the volumes of square pyramid. In the previous video, kung hindi nyo pa po napapanood, we were able to discuss the formula kung paano makuha yung uh, square uh, volume ng square pyramid. So kung hindi nyo pa po yun napapanood, you can always go back to the first video. Let's review first the formula in getting the volume of the following figures. We have the first one is a rectangular prism. All you have to do is to multiply yung kanyang base area which is uh, length times width times the height. So we have here volume is equal to length times width times height. For the volume of a square pyramid, you just get one third of it. So just one third times the base area which is side squared times height or one third times side raised to two times height. Okay, let's now proceed to solving problems involving volume of square pyramid. Let's have number one. Okay, we have here the problem. A gardener is planning to build a decorative square pyramid shape planter in his backyard. If the base edge of the planter will be 5 meters and its height will be 9 meters, what will be the volume of the planter to determine how much soil he needs to fill it? So what is asked in this problem? yung volume ng kanyang planter. Ano po yung shape ng kanyang planter? It happens to be a square pyramid. Okay, ano po yung mga given natin? We have the height, which is 9 meters, and we have the side or the edge, which is 5 meters. So what will be the formula we are going to use? Ito po, volume of a pyramid is equal to 1 third times the side raised to 2 times height. So since given po itong dalawang to, side tsaka height, we can now substitute. So we have side is 5, height is 9. Now, anong unahin natin? Multiplication ba or exponent? Okay, it's always exponent ang priority. So 5 raised to 2, meaning 5 times 5, we will get 25. Multiplied by 9, we will get 225. Now, 225 multiplied by the fraction 1 thirds. You can just multiply 225 by the numerator 1 and then divide it by the denominator. Or simply 225 divided by 3. Ganun lang po. So, ang sagot is 75. Ano po ang basa ng ating uh, unit? Cubic meters. Therefore, the volume of the square pyramid is 75 cubic meters. Next, example number 2. A museum is designing a display case in the shape of a square pyramid. The base of a pyramid has an area of 49 square meters and the height of the pyramid is 15 meters. What is the volume of the display case? Okay, so we have the given 15 meters ang kanyang height. Dito given na rin po yung area which is 49 square meter. So mas madali po ito. All you have to do is to use the formula volume of the pyramid is equal to one third times base times height. Etong base po na ito is yung area ng base. So substitute natin which is 49 and then yung height natin is 15. So 49 times 15 we will get 735. Get one third of 735 by multiplying it by the fraction 1 over 3. We will get 245 cubic meters. Therefore, the volume of the square pyramid is 245 cubic meters. Next, example number three. A resort in Palawan is designing a square pyramid shaped lookout tower to offer tourists a panoramic view of the island. The base of the tower has an area of 100 square meters and the volume of the tower will be 300 cubic meters. What is the height of the tower? So ano po yung uh, problem natin dito? We have a pyramid shaped tower dun sa resort na, na meron siyang volume which is 300 cubic meters. Okay, may volume na siya. Ano pa po? Meron din siyang base area which is 100 square meters. Therefore, ano ang hinahanap natin? We are looking for the height of the tower. In our solution, we will be using this formula. 
volume of a pyramid is equal to one third times the base area times height kasi ito naman po yung dalawang given. Okay? Volume natin, we will now write it on the left side of the equation. So, it's just 300 equals one third times yung base uh, area which is 100 times height. So, since unknown ang height, ito po yung uh, hahanapin natin. Now, what's next is we can actually multiply kung ano yung pwedeng ma-multiply. So, we have here one-third and then one-hundred. So, you just get the one-third of one-hundred. We can actually multiply one-hundred by the numerator one and then divide it by three. So, one-hundred times one is one-hundred and then divide it by three. However, you if you're going to divide this, it's going to be a decimal. Pwede rin naman, if you want to deal with a decimal, you can divide this. But if you don't want to deal with a decimal number, merong mas madaling paraan. Naituro ko din po ito in our previous lessons. So how do you get rid of the denominator 3 here? You can multiply the whole fraction by the denominator. So ano ang denominator natin? 3. So you multiply natin saan? 3. Kung minultiply natin itong fraction na ito sa 3, ganun din po sa kabila. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, ganun din po ang gagawin nyo dito. So, 300 times 3 will be 900. Now, if you multiply 100 over 3 times 3, matatanggal po automatically yung kanyang denominator. Bakit? If you multiply 3 by 100, it's going to be 300. If you divide it by 3, it's still going to be 100. Okay, ganun po yung technique. Now, we have 900 is equal to 100 times height. You can divide this by 100, 900 divided by 100. It will be the answer for our problem. Height is now equal to 9 meters. Again, therefore, the height of the lookout tower is 9 meters. Okay, here in number 4, we are now going to solve problem involving a composite figure. Okay, let me read first. The composite solid is composed of a rectangular prism and a square pyramid on top. To find its volume, we need to add the volume of the prism and the pyramid. So pag sinabi po nating composite solid or composite figure, it's a combination of two or more solid figures. Like for example here, it's a square pyramid and then sa baba naman po ay rectangular prism. Now if you're wondering, parang uh, cube ito, hindi po. Remember, we have... 5 as the height and then 4 po sa kanyang mga sides, mas mataas or mas malaki pa rin po yung height. So this is now a rectangular prism. Now how do we do this? We can actually find the volume of each uh, solid figure muna before we add para makuha natin yung total. So we can solve for the volume of the prism first. Ano po yung volume ng prism natin? It's just the area of the base times height. In this case, we have a rectangular prism. Pero kung magtataka kayo, bakit parehas naman po yung sides? Meaning, meron ba siyang length? Meron din ba siyang width? Okay, remember, meron pa rin. Kasi ang square, it's, it is actually a rectangle. No? Ang square is a family of rectangles. So ang kanyang sides ay pwede pa rin tawaging length and width. So we have length and width which is parehas lang for... So, parang yung formula din ng ating uh, area ng square, side times side or side squared, you just need to multiply the two dimensions. So, 4 times 4 times the height, which is 5 inches. We will get 80 cubic inches. Now, how about the square pyramid dito sa taas? Okay, let's solve. The volume of the pyramid is one-third times the side squared times the height. Now, ano na po yung side ng ating uh, square pyramid? Since composite figure ito, kung ano yung kanyang base dito, yun din yung base ng prism. So, since ang prism natin, ang side niya ay 4, our S here is 4. So, 4 raised to 2 or 4 times itself is uh, 16. Tapos, i-multiply sa 6, kaya naging 96. Okay? Now, you get the one-third of 96 you will get 32 cubic inches. Okay? Now, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, we need to add the volumes of the two figures. So, 80 plus 32, 80 cubic inches plus 32 cubic inches, we will get 112 cubic inches. Therefore, the volume of the 
composite solid is 112 cubic inches. Alright, now I hope you are ready. Uh, pwede nyo pong itong i-practice by answering the following problems. I have here four problems, katulad din po sa examples natin kanina. You can uh, pause this video or pwede nyo screenshot and then balik po kayo pag tapos nyo na so that you can check your answers. Okay, now let's check your answers. I'm going to flash here the solution for each of these problems. In number one, we are looking for the volume. The volume is 144 cubic meters. Given po ang side, tsaka yung height, which is 6 and then 12 meters. Next, in number two, ang volume po natin is 384 cubic meters. Ang hinahanap dito ay yung volume. Given po yung base area, which is 64 square meter, tsaka yung height, which is 18 meters. Next, in number 3, ang given po natin is yung volume na, which is 405 cubic meters. Given na rin po yung kanyang area, which is 81 square meters. Now, you just need to find the height. The height now is 15 meters. And for number 4, this is a composite figure. Okay, so first is yung prism, ano yung area or yung volume, I mean, ng prism. We have 400 cubic meters. And then ano po yung volume ng pyramid? We have 50 cubic meters. I-add lang po natin yung dalawa, 400 plus 50, we will get 450 cubic meters. So you can review these solutions para po ma-check in yung mga sagot. At kung meron po kayong mga maling sagot, you can always go back to our discussion. So I hope meron po kayong natutunan sa ating lesson. In this practice, I hope you learn something. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you again on the next lesson. Okay, see you. God bless and bye-bye. Kung meron kang natutunan sa video na ito, please click the subscribe button to support this channel para mas matulungan ulit kita sa mga susunod mo pang math lessons. Lagi mong tatandaan, ang math ay para sa lahat. At ako si Teacher Van, nagsasabing dito sa mat isip, lamang ang nag-iisip. God bless and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.